Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at some solid tools, specifically Union and Outer Shell. So this was by request. We actually had a couple people um, ask about these specific functions. We've had a lot of questions about solid tools in general come up lately, and I think that's cool because I do think they are underutilized. Uh, solid tools are great modeling tools, great way to create 3D shapes. You do have to work differently. So we're going to touch real quickly on solids as we go through this. If you already know solids, then just you can fast forward, scrub for a little bit. But uh, I did want to talk about this because they are two tools that work very similar with one huge difference. And we'll just touch on what that is right now. All right. So I have here a couple piles of solids. Uh, each of these has a cylinder. This is, this is just a copy of the same thing over and over again. So we'll just zoom in on one. And then each cylinder has these boxes going around it. Uh, just kind of a fun shape. Uh, each of these you can see is in a group. So if I pick on one, it does tell me that there is a solid group here. It also tells me that there's 24 of these throughout the model. That's, that's good to know, but not really essential for what we're doing. There's eight copies around each cylinder and they're in there. So if I double click into this one, um, we'll go up to view, component, edit, hide, rest of model. I'm also going to hit, uh, oh, no, there we go. That's, that's fine. Um, you can see that that's all this is. This is just basically an extruded rectangle. It's a solid because there's no extra geometry. This is important. It does, when, when I pick on a group, it has to be geometry. It all has to be held in one group, and that group has to be properly created as a solid. It has to show up as a solid over here. If you're ever curious and you're trying to make solids and they're not showing up as solids, uh, first thing, check to make sure you're grouping them because this as loose geometry isn't going to count as a group. It's not going to count as a solid. The other thing to look at, of course, is to look into Solid Inspector, which is a free extension available through Extension Warehouse. It's actually part of SketchUp for Web. Um, so use that if you don't have solid group coming up when you pick on your item. All right. Having said all that, I'm going to say that what I'm looking for is whatever this piece is, I want it to all be one connected piece. So there's two different ways I can go about this. Uh, if I go up to tools and I go to solid tools, I have this union command. Union is how you grow or connect things together. The other options down here, subtract, pull things apart, trim, cut things away. Intersect gives you just the overlap and then split does the opposite. It gets rid of the overlap. Um, so basically the only one that actually adds things together in here is union. You'll notice that out here outside of solid tools is outer shell. This is a solid tool. Um, I think the idea is this is just the most commonly used one. So it's, uh, it's out here by itself. It stands apart from the rest of solid tools. These are also of course, all available as a toolbar or as buttons you can add to your own custom toolbar. So you could use that too. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to run, on one of these we're going to run Union, on one of them we're going to run Outer Shell and see the difference. Um, so for most solid tools, you end up with a one, two uh, process. So like with subtract, I would pick one piece and then hit subtract and then hit the second piece. It would cut the first from the second. With both Union and Outer Shell, I can select any number of items. In this case, all nine pieces, my eight boxes plus my cylinder. And then I can go to tools and hit union and it will join that all together. You can see that when it's done, I'm just going to go out here and just select, it creates a brand new solid group. All right, so let's do that to this other group over here, but this time we'll run uh, outer shell instead. So if I go to tools, rather than going to union this time, just outer shell, I'm going to hit that again. It works with all the things selected. I don't have to do in, go do one at a time or anything like that. And there we go, we get another solid group. So that's great. So what's the difference? Why did I do that? Why, why have two different things? Um, there's one very important difference and it's a thing I didn't tell you. And let's go back here to this first piece and uh, show you what the difference was. So when I look at this, if I turn on X-ray, see that right there? That is an opening inside. This cylinder is hollow and these blocks lap into it. So what does that mean for union versus outer shell? Well, here with union, I can see, I don't know, something's going on here. I got these things sticking out and 
Uh, I still have my inside. You can see my inside face right there, but I got other stuff going on. I'm not really sure what. Over here with outer shell, I can see I don't have that. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to turn off x-ray, and we're going to just grab a couple of uh, section planes and chop these things up. There's a couple ways to look inside of a model. One is by tapping X on your keyboard and going into x-ray mode. But this, if you're not exactly sure what you're looking at, this can cause more confusion than help. So one of the things I do like to do, I do like to use this tool a lot, is to grab that uh, section plane tool. And let's just drop one straight on the top. Okay, and I'm just going to grab it and move it and we're going to slice right, right down to where these pieces come through and let's take a look at that. So my original model, each of these different pieces actually was, I mean it was separate, but you can see this, this was not just a cylinder, it was actually a tube. So what happened was outer shell took the outer faces and joined them together to create this solid piece. while Union honored that there was an opening in the middle and actually let these pieces lap in and created that shape instead. So you can see this is still one solid, one solid. A hole in the side does not make it not a solid. It just means all the pieces connect together and it can will honor that hole inside. So why would you want to do this? Why would this be important? Well, this 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 is it right here. I mean, if for whatever reason this thing I was generating had a void inside of it, this was getting machined or 3d printed or whatever and i needed to maintain that void space it would be very important to use union rather than outer shell outer shell is great for taking a bunch of pieces and just kind of it's kind of like shrink wrapping or or thermal wrapping the whole thing and just taking the outside faces everything inside gets thrown away so if you're ever doing solid work with like a building or something like that where you want to maintain the inside space and but still make it a solid piece it's going to be very important to use union because you want to make sure you maintain that interior space. So in a nutshell, the difference is maintaining that inside space in there. And outer shell doesn't do that. The nice thing about outer shell is if I do run outer shell, if I come in here and I grab everything and it tells me I got 226 entities, this is a pretty small model, of course. But if I grab this one, look at this, 500 entities because it's keeping all that geometry on the inside. So depending what you're using it for, uh, outer shell is a great way to make a lighter model, less geometry, that sort of thing. Uh, but Union, of course, is going to maintain that possibly very important void on the inside of the geometry. So that was a deep, deep dive. We dove, we went really, really into that. Um, <laughs> but I get this question a lot, so I wanted to do kind of an ultimate overview of, of the difference between the two. Uh, we get that question quite a bit saying, well, why would you use this instead of this? Well, I just use this. I don't like this. I And that's that's cool. That's You do you. You do your thing. That's fine. Don't do it the way I do it. Do it the way you do it. Uh, but it is good to know that because if there is a situation where you're trying to keep that space open on the inside, it's very important to use the right command. Um, let me know if you have other questions specific to solid tools. Uh, I think there's more and more workflows that I'm seeing popping up using solids. And I think it's a great way to work. Uh, but I am curious what you guys have questions about as far as solid tools. So let me know if you have any other questions about that. And if you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, like I was just saying, leave us a comment. Let me know what you thought of this process. If you use this, if you've ever been bitten by the difference between the two commands, or if there's another solid tool workflow that you have questions about or would like to see us talk about. Uh, or if there's just some other idea you think would make a good video here. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.